Thanks for tuning in once again, guys. Today we've got the Marlin 1894 44 Magnum out once again. Um, I did a first look video about a year or so ago. Uh, got some upgrades on the gun. I've just been itching to get it out. And uh, we're going to try to get it good and sighted in today. Get it ready for deer season because I definitely want to do some deer hunting with this rifle. But uh, anyway, the upgrades I got. Number one, I got the Ranger Point Precision lever loop on it. It's a uh, little bit oversized. It's got nice radiuses on it. It's very comfortable in the hand. Uh, really like that, especially over the stock one that had kind of the squared off uh, loop on it there that really wasn't too impressed with it originally. Uh, I've also got the safety delete uh, from Ranger Point and all that really does is just replace your cross bolt safety. It just plugs it. Uh, you know, a lot of purists, a lot of lever action purists don't like cross bolt safeties on the rifle and I never really cared for it myself. Uh, up top here, we've got the Williams peep sight, which I had, but I did upgrade the front sight as well. And that's a KNS precision. It's hollowed out and has a crosshair in it, which is really cool. And it goes really well with this, uh, with the peep sight. You're basically just lining in the circle with the circle makes for a really nice, uh, sight picture and I feel like I can get pretty precise with it. So anyway, without further ado, just going to go ahead and shoot a few rounds here at 50 yards. Got the chronograph on as well, but I've got some 200 grain XTPs loaded here. I've got 28 grains of H110 uh, backed up with the uh, 200 grain bullet. So we should be doing somewhere in the neighborhood of 19 to 2,000 feet per second. But anyway, let's just go ahead and shoot a group right here at 50 yards. And we'll get some velocity data as well. Nineteen ninety six. Yeah, they're moving right along. Twenty thirteen. All right, well, uh, 2003 on that last velocity. Let's see what we got here for a group. Not too bad. It's looking like I'm hitting just a bit left, maybe a little low. So we're going to have to move these sights here. All right, so I went five clicks up, five clicks to the right. We'll just see where that lands me here. Twenty twenty, and we are damn close to that bullseye. Let me just try another three shot group here, and we'll see if we can't keep them all in the orange there. We're not looking too bad there, guys. Probably about a two inch group down there at 50 yards. Uh, we got 2045 on that last velocity. So uh, these 200 grain bullets are cranking out there. Uh, so we're definitely good at the 50 yard mark. We're gonna take it out to 100 yards. We got steel plate up there. We're just gonna see how much drop we have out there. I imagine these are going to drop off quite a bit at 100 yards just being a pistol bolt. You know, they cut through the air like a school bus. So let's just go ahead and see if we can't hit that plate out there. <laughs> oh, got it. First try. Boy, it rocked it too. Oh yeah, yep, held just the top of that eight inch plate and we're hammering it. I'll have to go down and check it out. All right, here's a hundred yard plate. Two good hits there and I was holding the top of this plate the whole time. So uh, actually looking like I'm pretty zeroed in cause that's right about where I was holding elevation wise. So 
I got some 200 grain bolts are still climbing out here looking pretty good pretty happy with that missed my second shot so and one of these two is from when I was swinging all right we're gonna wrap this thing up with a little bit of offhand practice here uh, again plan on using this for deer season so trying to get in a little bit of practice here most likely my shots are gonna be offhand anyway we're standing here all the way to 25 to 50 yards to the top of that hill. Got 10 rounds loaded. Let's try her out. Wow. Click. <laughs> that is too much fun, guys. Really, really love this rifle. Love 44 Magnum. I especially love the fact that this holds 10 rounds in a nice lightweight package. Highly recommend 44 Magnum lever action. So we'll just kind of keep this video short and sweet, but I wanted to give you a little update here on this Marlin. I've been shooting it quite a bit off camera. Uh, the only thing I'll say with this being the Remington Generation 1, uh, you got screws loosening up on it constantly. I'm always having to go back through tightening down all these screws. The fore end comes loose. Just had to fix that. Uh, the loading gate, you name it. Every screw on this thing seems like it keeps wanting to back out. But other than that, I mean, I really enjoy the rifle, especially with these upgrades that I put on. Uh, we're just making sure that she's going to be good and squared away here for this deer season. Definitely want to try to knock a deer down with this thing this year. Add a little bit of a challenge to our hunt. So uh, that's probably going to be it for today. Thanks for watching once again, subscribing, liking, and sharing. And, of course, if you want to support us, patreon.com slash chuckin. Payments are on hold over there for right now because we just haven't been putting out as much content as we normally do. But if you do sign up, it's just going to charge you that initial time, and I'll let you guys know when I turn the payments back on. Anyway, really, really appreciate it, and have a good one.